Okay, here we are. This is how it was packaged, soft bag. And we have a watch. So that's it, no box, nothing, just foam, foam. Let's see if it made it intact. This is the DZ 2019, basically a, a knockoff of a diesel watch. It's a most mostly a fashion watch. It has absolutely little functionality. There it is. It looks fairly nice. It even says diesel on it. Um, it's a rebar. It's a little, I have to wipe it. Um, there's a lot of gauges here, as you can see, but only one of the watches works. I think that one there. Um, it says diesel, only the Brave. It has all the stuff here. It, it, it says Solio st Stainless Steel. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure why. That is hilarious. Solio Stitzinless Steel. Okay. Anyway, I wouldn't trust this further than I can throw it. And, uh, well, I can throw it pretty far. But anyway, listen, it was very cheap. I think it cost me like uh, 10 bucks. And it's a huge watch. I'm going to review more later, but I mean, it's it's gigantic, as you can see. Gigantic. I'm used to wearing this little Garmin. This is more like just a, a watch to take out. But, uh, yeah. Um, I'm not really propo uh, a proponent of, you know, uh, basically supporting the fake watch industry. Uh, but I just wanted to show you what you can get off eBay from uh, China. Okay. And uh, we'll go over this a little bit later. Okay. Just one more thing I noticed uh, upon turning off the light. Have a look. The dials glow. The, uh, you can see there. Okay, so the watch actually has a little bit of uh, fluorescent paint on the hands, I should say. Uh, you can't really tell much, if, uh, but it, you can kind of roughly see it's about 340-ish, 335, okay. But uh, here, we'll turn the light back on. But yeah, the dials glow, uh, sorry, the hands glow. Uh, in case you're wondering, just uh, something I noticed, I don't know if it's featured, uh, advertised that way on eBay, but just as a side you can get them to glow. Uh, for some reason, the smaller one is much brighter than the larger one. The larger one uh, will glow, but I, I had to really give it a good flash, uh, you know, with the light. Um, but you can always read on the small hand. So I don't know how long it'll last. Hopefully it'll last several hours into the night, or if you're in a theater, you can have a quick glance, but that's it. Okay, so um, I found some pictures online of the real diesel Mr. Daddy 2 watch, which is what this replica is based on. And uh, I put them side by side so you can have a look. Now the replica is on the left. Uh, the real watch always will be on the right. And so, and I like to call it a replica rather than a fake. Sounds nicer. Either way, um, there are some significant differences, which anyone who should be, you know, shopping around for one of these things uh, should notice. However, keep in mind that the eBay listings are not uh, showing the replica um, pictures. Usually they take pictures of the actual real uh, diesel watch. They scrub off the, uh, you know, digitally scrub off the name diesel from it. And, you know, but they will show the actual diesel watch. Uh, one thing to look at is basically here. I'll, I'm gonna bring up my mouse here, and I just I'm gonna start drawing. One thing to notice is um, so these are the two comparison watches, uh, the Z DZ314. Okay. Now there are many other models with different color schemes and different kinds of uh, uh, straps, but this is the one I have. First thing you'll notice is the font. Uh, this diesel doesn't look at all. Now, most of the, the listings on eBay have that scrubbed off. The other thing you'll notice is that the, um, you know, th this is white. That arrow is white, and on the real watch, it's red. You'll see also the spacing of the crowns. These, these adjusters here are, is much wider than the spacing here. These are closer together. This one's almost coming off at the uh, 10, and this one's coming off at the 20, and this is not. 
you can see they're further apart. Okay, let me just erase. Okay, uh, the other thing you'll notice is that the, um, and you'll see that better on a profile picture, but this, this part, portion of the watch is actually raised up. It's three-dimensionally closer to you. It's, it's, it's raised. Whereas on the replica, it's flat. You'll see that from an angled view in a moment. You'll also notice that on the left side of the watch, the crowns come out straight, straight, like that. On the fake replica, whatever you want to call it, they come out at angles because they're, they're mounted off of the uh, actual curvature of the case, just like on the right side. But in the real watch, they come out straight, as you can see there. Um, what else can I show you? I mean, there's obvious blatant differences. You know, you can see even the detail here of the screws. These look like little hex nuts. You know, these do not look like hex nuts. They're just sort of inserted with pins and then chopped off. They don't, they're not screws. Um, there's also uh, many, many other features here. Uh, I want you to note that it says three bar over here. We'll see later that on the back of the case, it says five bar. So that's a discrepancy there. Um, remember, the only uh, the only parts of the watch that work are here. This clock here works. Only you know it tells you the time, hour, minutes. Uh, the second red thing goes around the, the the second hand, and the date is working. But and, and then you do have a dual time here, so you have the time four also working. This thing here does not work at all. It's just faked out completely, and this one here is not visible on the replica either. Okay, I don't know. I'm assuming that on the real watch, those things all do stuff. Okay, let's go to the next, um, to the next picture here. All right, this is what I mean about the 3D. So normally you wouldn't see this on the 2D pictures, especially on many listings and on websites. But if you have a look at the watch up close in three dimensions, you will notice a lot more detail. For example, this these screws definitely have these very nice accurate hexes in them. This does not. Um, you can see that the crown, the finish on the crown is much nicer and they're closer together. Okay, these are much closer together to each other versus the replica watch which is uh, you know not as good a finish you will also see that in this portion of the watch we have this section raised I'll try to show you again you see how this bar comes up and then over comes up and over this comes up and over this whole element is sunken in and this part of the watch is like on a, th a three-dimensional platform that's sticking up out of the watch in this direction. On the replica, this entire region is completely flat up against the same exact part of the uh, face as the the right side. There's absolutely no raised detail at all on the watch. You'll also notice, if I go back here, these tabs that stick up there and there, uh, they're entirely missing. It's not even that they're flat. They're like completely gone. They're, they're, they don't exist on this watch. And that explains, I mean, they don't need to because there's nothing raised on this side. So they have no purpose. And similarly, the, um, you know, this, th these, here, let me just show you. So the, these, I'm assuming chronograph dials here, these little round things here, they're, just pointing at 12 o'clock on the replica they're not doing anything and they're just glued on okay so that's uh, you know what you're getting as far as um, you know that three-dimensional detail let's look at the next picture this is the back you'll see here um, that the logo itself is also very different it's much smaller if you look at the logo here, okay, you'll see, and it says DZ, it doesn't mention the number. Here, there's a much larger logo. It takes up most of the back of the watch, almost to the edge. And you can see the model number here. There's a, um, 
it says still, you know, diesel only, the Brave diesel. So they copied that, although the fonts are very different. Um, they put in solid stainless steel. Here it's misspelled. We'll look at that later. Water resistant. And then it says here three bar. For some reason, on the back of the replica, it goes to five bar. Whereas earlier on, we saw that it says three bar here. Now all of a sudden, it says five bar on the back of the watch. So, uh, which is kind of weird. The original, the, the real one says three bar still. Okay, but let's have a look at the back in more detail. So some obvious uh, issues, obviously, I mean, I don't under understand why they did this unless it was on purpose to try to um, to get off the fact that it's a replica. But it says solio instead of solid. Why it says solio, I don't know. There's an S here instead of an A. It should say stainless steel. Again, maybe it's not steel, so they don't want to write that on there. Uh, resistant 5 bar they wrote. I don't believe that at, for one minute. And it's 106, well, 16 S feet. What they really mean is 167 because 5 bar would be 5 times 33 feet. It's about 1 bar is 33 feet of water. So 5 bar would be about 166 or 167 ish. Uh, they put 16 S for some very weird reason. I'm not even sure what any of this means, but it doesn't matter. It's just uh, that's the way that this watch is made. Now, let's go online for a second. I'll just exit out of this and we'll switch to, uh, sorry, let's go here. Okay, so this is just some random website which I found some nice pictures of. So this is the Diesel DZ3714 Mr. Daddy 2.057 millimeter. That is the watch right there. Okay, you can see it. Now, you'll, you'll notice that from the top view, it can be, um, you know, misconstrued as being two-dimensional. But remember, this side of the watch is 3D. It's sticking out. And that's why these plates come up. They have a bend right there where the hand is, and they come out. Sorry about the snowflakes. Uh, that's a, I guess it's a Christmas sale or something. You'll also notice here, you know, there's that three-dimensionality that you saw says clearly three bar and if we keep going the back of the watch notice how close these crowns are and there's the back of the watch again much larger logo okay and build quality to match and there's a box which mine didn't come with at all so that's the Mr. And if you look for a diesel Mr. Daddy watch, you just type it up online and you'll see there's countless examples of different models. Uh, most of them are very much the same watch, but just a different uh, style. So you'll have uh, perhaps a, for example, here, uh, you know, you have a different color band, you'll have a different uh, color scheme for the face, so different themes. But this, the same elements are there. They're all fairly large watches. They've got all the complicated uh, mechanism there. Uh, and the face, very cool looking. Large watch, very stylish. Uh, very, you know, very nice design, I, I must say. Um, you know, by Diesel. And you know, the price, of course, is commensurate with that. You know, you're going to be expecting to pay at least $250, $300, maybe even $400 or more. Uh, US as you can see here and uh, you know this watch that we got from eBay was nine dollars US nine dollars US okay guys so I had a chance to put it on and uh, adjust a few things uh, first of all I had to make two more holes in this wrist strap as you can see my hand is uh, tiny compared to the watch I have a small wrist and I needed to make two more holes and you know this thing says leather on it uh, yes it's guess what it's not leather obviously not for this cheap this uh, buckle is a little bit flimsy so you got to be careful of course that's what quality you get for uh, this kind of price and uh, you know it looks good from far away it's functional just so you understand what works this uh, dial here 
uh, you have hour, minute, and the seconds that moves. That's functional, and the date, as you can see here, is functional. These little tiny, uh, I guess the chronograph, smaller uh, dials, they don't work. They're just fake. These buttons do nothing at all. They just click in and out. At least I haven't seen them do anything. And then these guys here, sorry, these here and here do nothing. This is another um, timekeeper, time number four. So that works. You can pop that out. You need a knife to get underneath here because it's, uh, you, unless you have a fingernail, maybe you can get under. And you can set that watch too. I basically set them to the same time. Um, but that's basically that how you have it. The build quality is, you know, again, what you'd expect for this price point. It's just glass, it's flat. There's no, uh, you know, the, the metal is a little bit rough around the edges here. It's not finished very uh, well. Uh, but like I said, it looks cool. Nice fashion watch for the price point. It's cheap. I didn't expect it to say diesel, to be honest. Um, and when they advertised it on eBay, it had it blanked out. And so, you know, that way, it's not like you're trying to compete directly with a fake watch. You know, it's just a watch. It looks nice. Maybe has some of the same look and style, but it wasn't supposed to be a, an obvious fake. So I guess they do that for eBay to get around, uh, you know, sell selling restrictions. But uh, I wouldn't have my mind at all if they just left that out because I'm not trying to, you know, um, necessarily um, pawn off, you know, a diesel here or try to pretend like I'm wearing a diesel. I just like the look and I saw it was cheap and I couldn't care less what brand it was. So, uh, but I guess they, um, you know, they decided to uh, fake that anyway, which, uh, you know, I don't really agree with, but that's the case. So as far as I know, not going to be waterproof, three bar, I wouldn't, uh, would not expect that to have any waterproof, maybe a little water resistant, but I wouldn't trust it. Leather strap is not leather. Uh, when you punched holes in it, uh, basically I got some uh, fabric strings coming through and um, it is huge. But it's very light, uh, you know, it's extremely lightweight and comfortable, so it's easy to carry around. If you're not used to a big watch, this is uh, definitely feels very um, light on the hand, which may not, want, uh, may not be something you'd like. If you're used to authentic heavy watches, you know, you'll probably feel this thing is like a toy. But for someone who's not used to wearing heavy watches, this thing is just right. It doesn't really feel like it's too heavy and it looks quite nice. So there you have it. I hope you enjoy this video. If you're interested in uh, purchasing these types of things on eBay, now you have an idea of what they look like. And I'll zoom in a little bit more so you can see the face. Okay, lots of little details, which I like. And textures, but uh, obviously fake. You can see those dials are just glued on at the 12 o'clock positions. And those rings, the discs around the edges as well are um, pretty much stationary just for appearance all right thanks again for watching bye for now